Okay, this is a very simple system designed to produce carbonated product, not using electricity. It uses this type of carbonator, which requires you to run your CO2 directly to it using this type of connector. This is kind of like you pull this back, it's a quick release. And following this tube down into where you would put your product is an air stone, and the air stone will. Uh, mix the CO2 in with your product, whether it be a juice concoction you've made or a tea or wine or, or whatever. Um, it will carbonate your product for you or obviously water. You would tie it in with your primary regulator which would go to your CO2 tank and once you've made the appropriate settings on that it would carbonate through the air stone and come out the other side where you would attach this adjacent connector or matching pair Again, it's a quick release, and you would push that in place, and then you would run the opposite end to a cooling device if you want to run a cold plate system like this one shown here. This one's jumpered, so the product stays in it longer. You would put that into some ice in like an Eagle cooler or something of that sort. And then, if you don't want to do that, you can bypass that and run straight on up to a dispenser. You're not going to have as much, as much carbonation or effervescence in the product, but that will help improve it so it's stronger carbonated. Then you would run to your dispenser. And the dispenser could be this style, as we've shown you here. This has a premix head on it. You can put whatever label you want on there. We have that one there in Seltzer. We have one that says Fruit Punch. Um, and again, you would run your product line up through it, and out it would come when you would pull your handle forward and shut off automatically when you release it. There is another type of dispenser, which looks like this guy here, and he is, not, uh, this is a post-mix system, but it does not require, this type of valve does not require electricity. So you could use this type of dispenser as well for dispensing your product if you wanted this type of look or a dual head. The other thing we need to talk about is this is 10 gallons. This comes in a couple different configurations, five and a three, I believe. And it allows you, you can, and we have done systems that let you daisy chain. So if you are in a big event and you don't want to knock the system down, and part of knocking it down is you would take your CO2 connection off, and you would have to release your gas, you take your product line off, release your gas, and let all the pressure out, and then you would open this up, and you would have to refill it with your product. If you want to put them in series, you would have to get something that looks like this. This is a five-gallon container that's designed to hold carbonated product, and you can put them in series. So you would run your product from here into this, and if you wanted to go straight from your dispenser, again, it has those same type of connections, you could go to your dispenser, or you could go to another one of these. So you can have these daisy chained together, and they... Of course, you have to go through a process that would require you to knock this down a couple of times when you initially set it all up. But you could have, you know, 10, 5, and 5. You can have 20 gallons or more based on what you purchased and what you put together as loaded ammo for your event or for whatever function you're looking to use this equipment in. Again, this does not require electricity. It's very simple design. It does a pretty good job for such a simple design for putting out a carbonated product.